Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we'll introduce you to drawings and templates. We'll assume that you've already watched the Quick View video and you've learned about tagging traverses, using traverse settings and drawing settings to create a working drawing quickly. So far, I've been working in what you might call a default drawing or a scratch pad drawing inside Traverse PC. If we look at the drawing view up here, we see that the drawing name is Learn Quick View and we have the drawing size. Um, I've just been setting the traverses up the way I want um, inside this drawing, but now when I am thinking about doing a finished drawing, I oftentimes like to go to my drawing manager and start a new drawing, and I'm going to show you how we do that. So let's move the cursor back over the drawing manager. Notice that here's our default drawing, Learn Quick View. To create a new drawing, I'm simply going to double click a blank line and Traverse PC displays a new drawing dialog. Let's call this Drawing Foundation Layouts. From the Browse button, we're going to choose a mortgage template. Okay, and I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a moment. I like the rest of the settings here, so I'm going to choose OK. And Traverse PC has now created a new drawing for me. Let's come back to our Drawing Manager. Here's our new drawing, Foundation Layouts. Let's come back to our Drawing View then. I'm going to maximize the view so that I can see the drawing just a little bit better. And I want to introduce you now to what we call Paper Space and Survey Space. Watch what happens when I delineate the Paper Space objects. Paper Space objects are tied to the nearest corner of the page. So if I were to pick this title block up and move it around, it remembers where it's at based on the nearest corner of the page. That's important because watch what happens when I take this template and I say, you know what, I'm not going to be able to fit everything onto a legal size sheet of paper. So I want to go to a larger sheet size. I'm going to right click, go to Print, Page Setup, and from the list of sizes, I'm going to choose 11 by 17. I'm going to leave it in Landscape and choose OK. Do you see what happened to all those paper space objects? Do you see how they stayed in their relative corners? The same thing would happen if I went from a landscape to a portrait um, layout. Again, the paper space objects know what corner of the drawing they're nearest. The great thing about this is that I can create one template and use it for any size or orientation of drawing that I want. This is a tremendous time saver when it comes to creating new templates and maintaining existing templates. I'm now going to highlight the survey space objects. Everything that isn't paper space now gets highlighted. Survey space objects are tied to the scale of the drawing. So watch what happens when I come up to the Zoom Extents button here. Zoom Extents says I want to rescale and recenter the survey so that it just fits on the page. Let's go ahead and select that option. Do you see now that everything that's survey space got resized and recentered on the drawing? In fact, if I come up to the top toolbar up here, I see my current scale is 52 feet to the inch. Let's choose a scale of 60 feet to the inch. And I can see now that I've rescaled all of the survey space objects. I'm also going to position the cursor over the survey, hold down the control key, and just drag and drop the survey anywhere on the page. When I dragged and dropped the survey, I didn't change any of the coordinate values. I just changed the position of those coordinates on my sheet of paper. Again, this is a great time saver. Uh, zoom extends, rescaling, repositioning happens so easy inside of Traverse PC. Let's turn that survey highlight off. Let's pick up some of the curve labels. Do you see how I can easily drag and drop labels on the screen? If I want to move a distance up next to a bearing, it's very easy just to drag and drop those and put them in place with Traverse PC. How about my lot labels here? Let's come back and select Lot 4, Lot 3, and Lot 2. Notice how Traverse BC turns those labels gray. That means they're part of an ad hoc group. So I'm going to right click to tell Traverse BC I'm done selecting. I'm going to move just one of those labels. Watch what happens to the other labels as I move Lot 2 label. See how they move with it? That's part of that ad hoc group. And when I'm done, I can unselect Tell Traverse PC I'm done with that operation. I'm going to move the cursor now over to a couple of line labels that don't fit on the lines. Notice that um, the label from 4 to 5 and the label from 4 to 6 are drawn perpendicular to the labels here or to the lines 
because there isn't enough width on the line to fit them in. Let's go ahead and add those in to a line table. So I'm going to choose Insert, Line Table, and I'm going to choose the Auto Style. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Let's choose OK, and Traverse BC inserts a line table for us. Let's position this um, over here by um, where the lines are. Watch what happens now when I switch from 60 feet to the inch to a scale of 30 feet to the inch. Do you see how one of the labels now fits on the line? So Traverse BC automatically removed that from the line table and renumbered all of the line table items in the table and on the drawing itself automatically. That's what that auto style does. Let's go back, change back to 60 feet to the inch, and we can see that now Traverse PC has automatically added that uh, line back into the table. Let's move our table over here. Let's do the same thing now with a curve table, except this time I'm going to tell Traverse PC that I want to include all the curves in the table. When I choose OK, Traverse PC replaces all the curve labels with a C1, C2, etc. The line table and curve table that we're looking at here are examples of what Traverse PC calls smart drawing objects. Uh, these drawing objects know how to update themselves automatically. You saw that when I changed the scale with the line table. So I don't have to come in here and type in the text or update the text. If I were to change any of these coordinate positions or these line lengths, those changes would be reflected in these tables automatically. I'm going to um, insert another object called a legend. We're going to choose the options we want and I'm going to just slide this legend over here by a point and zoom in because I want to show you another example of these smart drawing objects. Let's put the cursor over the point symbol for um, point one and right click and choose properties. Now initially the traverse settings determined what kind of symbol to draw but I'm going to override this tick mark and say I set an iron pipe. Watch what happens when I choose OK. Not only does the symbol change for point one, but that symbol is added to the legend. Why? Because one of the properties of the legend was to automatically add the point symbols as are used in the drawing. So I can use the point symbols I want, and I don't ever have to go in and draw them in the legend. Traverse BC takes care of that for me. Let's zoom back out here, position the legend over where I want it. Did you notice? that my scale bar updates automatically with the scale and did you notice that my title block also updates automatically with the scale of the drawing so I never have to come in and type those values in there Traverse PC uses a variable there to translate the current scale of the drawing into that scale bar and into that title block now at this point there are certainly other things you can do to this drawing to finish it up but I want to show you how, how we write a PDF file and export this out as a DWG file. So first, let's write a PDF file. Again, I'm going to right click any blank spot. I'm going to go to Print, Print Drawing. Traverse PC includes a PDF driver called Traverse PC PDF. This can be installed when you install Traverse PC and is available to you to print any drawing or report from Traverse PC. I'm going to select that printer and choose OK. Traverse PC, at the bottom, displays a PDF icon and allows me to save that wherever I want to save it. Okay, I'm going to say save it in the samples folder, click the save button. Traverse PC now writes the PDF file and as soon as it's written displays it for me in my PDF viewer. I've resized the um, Adobe viewer here now to display the entire page 11 by 17 so I can send this to a client and if they plot this at 11 by 17 on any Windows plotter this will be at 60 feet to the inch. Let's do the same thing now by writing a DWG file. So I'm going to right click. This time I'm going to choose Tools, Export Drawing As. And we're going to see there are a number of ways that I can export this drawing um, as a shape file, as an image file. In this case, I want to write an AutoCAD DWG. I'm going to click on the Settings button and I see that I can choose any number of different AutoCAD formats. I want 3D lines. There are other options I can choose, but that's enough. Let's go ahead and export. Traverse BC writes the file and tells me it's finished. I'm going to click the preview button here. 
because I want to take a look at what I've just written. On this computer, I don't have a copy of AutoCAD, but I do have a copy of the Bentley Viewer. So the Bentley Viewer is going to open that DWG file for us, and we're going to see what it looks like. Once inside the Viewer, let's go ahead and maximize that same drawing. And let's go ahead and display the layers that Traverse BC wrote. Um, I like to show the layers um, and then remind you that Traverse BC writes this drawing as if it had been developed in a CAD program. So we have layers, we have blocks for the symbols, we have hatching for the fills. If we had a background photo, it would come in as a raster image. The paragraphs of text come in as paragraphs of text. So everything can be um, manipulated or used inside of the CAD program as if it had been generated by a CAD program. So it's more than just a pretty picture. We actually have useful objects inside the CAD program. Traverse PC is looking out for the people that you're going to send this information to, uh, knowing that many of them are going to be using them inside of a CAD program. Let's go ahead and close out that viewer and close out the export. Final thing we want to do now is tell Traverse BC we want to save this survey. So I'm going to choose File Save As. And when Traverse BC displays the Save As dialog box, I'm just going to call this My Learn Quick View. The sample files are read only files, so I want to save this as a different file name. When I saved the survey, I also saved my original scratch drawing plus the new drawing I just created. So I just save one time and everything gets saved, whether it's points I've added, traverses I've added, or in this case, drawings that I've added. That wraps up our quick view technology introduction.